Netherlands, uh, Germany, uh, we have teams in Australia from Argentina, Japan, who does some team racing in college and, and other venues. We're, we're very happy and very pleased to get such a great international group here together to race. The New York Yacht Club has been deeply involved in team racing for 20 years, so we thought that, uh, that if we created a global event, maybe we could demonstrate interest around the world. This is the first global keelboat team race event that's been ever held. We're in a very special part of the world here in Newport, Rhode Island. And of course, the New York Yacht Club, they have just moved everything to have this event. As you can see, just have a huge amount of support staff, both on the water and on shore. So, and, I mean, the competitors, this is just the most amazing thing they've experienced, I think, for most of us. This is our first time here in Newport, and we can't believe the place. Everything's wonderful. The place is, uh marvelous and I think we were very lucky, very pleasant to be on the water with this nice uh, weather. Growth here has been quite strong, but what's also happened more recently is that the two-on-two -two team racing in Europe and in other places around the world have started to take off as well. Uh, we also have a pretty different set of rules. So no rule 17, so there's no proper course. You can basically get a lured overlap and love someone anywhere on the course. This is very exciting racing because it's uh, close and it's uh, lots of action. All of this really helps to encourage young people to stay in sailing. Something which I'm passionate about is uh, young people participating in sailing and this helps. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic event. It's great to see so many teams from so many countries around the world. Um, really good quality racing we've been having, we've been having close races against most of the teams we've been sailing, even the top teams and the bottom teams. It's been a great event so far. It's very strategic and that's what I like. There's short races, many races a day. Uh, so it's very exciting for a short period. And I'm a student, so I don't have so much money to buy my own boats. And this is a perfect way to, to meet very interesting people at, at different places and sell nice material without having to spend a lot on a boat. Yeah. I think the social aspect is very important for team racing. And that also includes that we have the uh, male and female ratio, uh, which just adds a lot of spirit to the event. We hope that this will grow, obviously, globally, um, and we're hoping this event uh, will be a catalyst, and more importantly, the organization around this event. We just signed a, a, a deed of gift, so to speak, or a, a trust agreement that um, will help perpetuate this event and have uh, a focal point for the international community to gather around in terms of organizing team racing, particularly two on two. All of us who do it love it, okay? That's why we do it. So it's actually sort of sharing sharing the message uh, and seeing it as developing into a, a really fully international sailing activity. Uh, there are no keel boats currently in the Olympics and we think this is a very viable alternative that sailors could actually win more than one medal. Well, I, I 
I don't dare make a prediction. Um, but our hope is that we'll have a world championship, a sanctioned world championship, and that it'll be considered as an Olympic sport. The U.S. made a presentation to the 2024 Games. Um, team racing came in third. Um, two more votes, it would have been second. It would be a demonstration sport. So that's what we're pushing for. Um, it's incredibly spectator friendly. It's television friendly. And I think we have a real opportunity to get people excited about the game. It's all really, really good close racing. We feel quite lucky to come out on top at the end of it all. Just to have it, uh, the door open to the rest of the world is really exciting prospect for team racing. And to have this event hopefully kickstart it and for people to take it back to their continents, their local clubs and countries, hopefully we'll see it grow and grow from here. So this could be the start of something pretty special. Hopefully.